Hey guys, this is iPhone Hacker 90 here and uh, again with another good video. Uh, uh short video. Um how to jailbreak um an iPhone or iPod touch one point um two point one firmware, the newest version in iTunes eight. So first of all you're gonna get iTunes eight. You can get it off of the um Apple Store and go into iTunes and um, so once you get it it'll look a bit different um, it'll look kinda like this whatever you have like some like similar like that and you get this new thing um, called Genius which is really cool I really like it um, so basically Once you got iTunes 8, the newest version, it'll ask you for update for your iPod. And it'll ask you to update for 2.1. Um, what I did is just um, write a list of the applications that um, I'm going to be, it's going to, that I'm going to be deleting with the restore. Because the restore erases everything on the iPhone or iPod Touch. So you're going to... <coughs> You're gonna go into um, you're gonna get I put this link in the description. It's quick one point one. If you click on that, <coughs> I'll say copyright two thousand eight iPhone dev team. The software is for commercial use. If you have bought the software, demand a refund. It is not for sale. We are responsible for any damage this software may do to any equipment be warned so just click that then it'll ask you to connect your device connect it connect it um, and um, well before that you're gonna get I put this link I put this in the description um, you're gonna get this um, it's a firmware bundle 2.1 firmware bu bundle <coughs> so uh, you're gonna download that on Firefox, make sure you download it on Firefox because um, Safari is not good. Well, it's not. It's okay, but some people it might not work. So get um, Firefox um, off of Google. I'm not posting the link because I don't really need to. But you can just Google that Firefox download three, Firefox three download, and just download it. And then going back into QuickPhone. And then once you connect your device, it'll automatically um, find what your device is already. And um, it'll find whatever it is. So you don't have to click. It'll find it automatically. Then it'll go to the next thing. The next thing, um, I don't have it, but the next thing, I'm not connected because I've already done it. And I don't want to do it again. But the next thing, it'll um, find the firmware bundle if you... Um, download it correctly on Firefox save it to the desktop it'll find the firmware bundle um, you don't have to click that it'll already find it and um, once you've done that um, it'll, it'll, it'll give this um, process bar or no it'll build the IPS after you've done that and it, it's really quick off a quick phone, but phone's tool takes quite a bit. Halfway through, it'll ask you for the password. That's normal. Um, it doesn't really matter if it asks you that. But once you've done that, um, it'll give this pr process bar. I mean, like um, this little bar, and it'll that's basically restoring it instead of going into iTunes and select that. Um, special firmware bundle like you do for Ponage Tool. This one does it right on um, right on the software, so you don't have to worry about iTunes. You don't even need to go on iTunes. You just have to have iTunes 8. So once you've done that, it'll say it's in DFU mode, and then it's gonna ask you to um, turn off your device. It's gonna ask you to um, select to unlock. I mean, so I to power off. It's gonna ask you to re, uh, put it in DFU mode. Just follow the instructions. It's like um, turn it off, then um, hold the.
power button and the middle button for about 10 seconds and then um, lift the power button off and hold the home key for 10 seconds it'll show you the perfect instructions then iTunes might pop up and give you this um, error this uh, it might give you this like um, weird error and it says um, iPhone or iPod touch cannot read or something um, click OK that's what happened to me it didn't doesn't really matter um, after that your iPhone will restart and it should be jailbroken okay um, or your iPod touch and um, I got all my apps back and it took me about a day or no actually like maybe two hours to SSH all the apps and um, I got it automatically installed Cydia right there um yeah it's really nice and um, the update won't bug you when you plug it into iTunes um, and I'll show you some of the features of the update so um, Cydia works fine it's the same thing um, you could go if I'll uh, show you some features of this um, update. Um, when you go to songs, usually it used to just give the title, but now under it it says um, the album or the artist under it. So it's like uh, fade away, fade away colors. So it shows that. And my favorite thing is Genius. That's the best thing. Um, create new, and it'll ask you to pick a song. Um, uh, I'll pick A O. No, actually, I'll take um, B Boy Stance by um, Chaos. Right, and then um, it's picked. The genius, the genius thing is right there. Once you click that, it'll give you basically a playlist of not matching songs, basically like twenty-five songs of like 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 similar songs to that um, chaos song. So that's pretty cool. That's just one of the things that I really like, and um, it doesn't crash. It hardly crashes. Um, and that is how to get how to jailbreak 2.0 um, firmware um, I believe that's the fastest way to get it and um, it asks you if you want a pineapple logo um, if you want you can do that but I usually don't um, thanks for watching my video please comment and subscribe iPhone Hacker 90.